When we look out into our night sky, we see all these stars and we wonder, what's out there? Sometimes when we want to explore, we send people like me, lucky people like me, into space to go find out what's there. But sometimes we want to know about these things, these stars that are far away, too far for astronauts to travel. And when we want to do that, we can use telescopes to travel far into our galaxies. Now, if we look into the night sky, you might see my friend. This is one of my favorite constellations, Orion. And Orion is right here. And Orion is a hunter, so Orion's head is here. Orion has a bow and arrow. You see the bow and arrow? Here's Orion's belt. And hanging off of Orion's belt is a sword. But sometimes it's cloudy, like this winter when it snowed a lot, and you can't see the stars. And we can't use our telescopes. Imagine holding up a drinking straw and looking for a part of the night sky that's completely black. And that's what we did with the Hubble Space Telescope. And guess what we found? This. In that one tiny black part of our sky, we found over 10,000 galaxies. One of the reasons that I'm here today is to, is to say that the government of Canada, we're investing millions of dollars, and today we're announcing that we're investing even more money into this because we're so excited, and I hope all of you guys are excited, about space and what exploration is going to mean to Canada. And so there are all kinds of Canadians, some brilliant engineers, incredible scientists, who are putting together the James Webb Space Telescope, and we want to support them. We want to support them so they can build the best, the best possible telescope to send up into space, to send us back pictures so we can imagine and think about the future.